fasting and I'm a man of the word, but I'm a man of the whole counsel of God. There are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit. They are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others. They, they are not finding definition, but the mentorship structure they have received has said, once you are spiritual, find a way of coming to stand here. And they stand here, yet they know Joseph. The, the, the throne is calling you Daniel. The place of governance is calling you Esther. You are fasting, but realize that you are being called to the palace. There will always be people like Anna the prophetess. Their ministry stops at the temple. They never go out of the temple. If you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things, you have destroyed them. They were called to stay. They will stay and wait. And Jesus will still come to the temple and meet them. This has been my concern. By the privilege of God's grace, I have studied many revivals. I have studied a bit of the history of the church in Nigeria. I can tell you, not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of god in nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came i don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God. And I can tell you the truth. When Jesus walked upon the earth, we need to study the ministry of Jesus. I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced. Jesus did not do crusades alone. Read your Bible. There were times he was with tax. He, he, the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector. What was the result? Many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man. Look at Jesus. One moment he's talking to thousands of people. The next moment he's alone with the woman at the well. With the same passion. The next moment he's investing time casting out one demon. Because that one man set free was equal to ten cities. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I can tell you this. And I say it with every sense of humility. It is the turn of Africa to blaze the fire of revival. We have prophesied this and many who have gone